Welcome to the Peak District, Stanage Edge. That's right, I'm working away. I haven't got that little munchkin with me, but I thought I'd give you a quicker van update because some things are changing on the van and some things are changing on the van. And it's about time we did an update. We've got Van Life Fest in two weeks, which is probably just coming up now from now. And um, yeah, there's a few updates I need to give you. So uh, let's get on with those. So the first thing to talk about is I've wanted to put that on the van for a long time. So we've got one on that side. We've got one on the other side as well. I'm proud to be British. I know it's the United Kingdom flag, but proud to be British. We've got it on the front as well. Don't know if I showed you those plates before, but yeah, we've got those uh, those plates. Orcsbeam have sent me through some new lights for the bonnet. I've had those fitted. Uh, and also I have got some brackets from mule vans so they fit absolutely perfect like a glove solid ain't going nowhere so i'm really happy with those unfortunately i've got some very bad news and i noticed it about 10 seconds into the start of this video when i was driving here today somebody was coming on uh, my side of the road and i had no option but to move out of their way now i slightly caught a bush however looking at the damage it's done to the paintwork, it's not that slight. As if that's not bad enough. That line continues all the way down. All of this is scratched here as well. And it goes all the way down the doors. I think that's it. If you're thinking of rolling in your van or painting it or spraying it in matte, that's what you've got to look forward to. Getting pushed out of the way into a bush and scratching your van. That is not ideal. There we go. So that was an unexpected uh, change of events. So let's talk about what else we've done. You may have noticed as I've been filming some changes in here. So we've built this little seat unit and I've had a go at making a cushion. I haven't really. I've just spray glued it on and folded it underneath, but it'll do as a temporary thing. At the end of the day, all I need to do is sit on it. So that's a temporary thing. I built this unit. What did we have here before? We had a chair, didn't we? Yeah, we had a chair that kind of went there and the fridge was there. I think it came out to here and this bed is like an L-shaped bed. We've got rid of that. We've built a unit here. It's not finished yet. Um, I went away at the weekend to Haven. I may have already said this on the last video, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking of having a countertop that folds up just purely so I can get to things underneath. Yeah, whether the whole thing lifts up as a one -er or there's three different sections or two sections, that's what we're looking at at the moment. We've also added a fold-up table, which is great because it means that I can sit down here and I can prep food or I can cook or I can do some work, I can do some YouTube videos, whatever it is I need to do. And to be honest, I could just sit here with a cup of coffee and just enjoy this beautiful view. By the way, do you like the haircut? 10 years younger? Maybe not. While we're on the subject of fold-up tables, can anyone recommend a set of, what are they called, are they hinges? Whatever these are called, that don't make that horrible noise when you're driving. Even when it's away, I put them at a slight angle, so it's, it's absolutely solid, doesn't go anywhere, but that's all you hear while you're driving. So there's obviously somewhere, I think it's these things, uh, rattle like crazy while you're driving. Yeah, it's these, what? So if anyone's got some and they don't rattle, please leave me a comment. Uh, even if you haven't got some and you know where you can get good quality ones from, then let me know because I need to get some really good quality ones because they are really annoying. Oh, underneath here as well is the fridge. So that's where we keep the fridge. So it was a quick job. I was going away, so I didn't have much time. So unfortunately, what I've done when I've built it, because I built a square and this bit's a bit offset, I offset it to keep it in place. This happens to be exactly where the handle is. I need to basically drop that cross beam and probably put it under here and then I can actually get to there and open it up and probably build like a, a small front on there as well. You might have noticed in the background while I'm talking, this has changed. So if you look at the carpet, you can see how messy it is. It's all bobbled, it's all full of rubbish, it's impossible to keep clean. So I thought, you know what, let's get some faux leather. So that's what we've done, we've got some faux leather. Now if you look at it, it is a mess, it is all bumpy and and bobbly and that's because when i pulled the carpet off it left loads of stuff on there so i thought Do you know what the wood's really not the best quality that i've put behind it so i am going to take the wood off here get a single panel because it is multiple panels so it'll be all nice and fresh air fresh total single panel on there then we'll add a little, tiny bit of spray glue on it because i probably put too much on it and then we'll glue it back on and it'll be flat i've also seen some different leather which hasn't got this kind of distressed look um it's more of a, like a fresh leather look so I'm going to get a slightly different leather than that one 
uh, but all good. I'm really happy with that. It, I think it looks a lot better than it did when it was bobbly because uh, if you look at it from that angle, yeah, and I kind of I kind of like the fact that it's got like a bit of like a matte effect to it as well because it you know it matches the van, doesn't it? If you stand from the outside and look in, you can't really see because of the sun, but yeah, you get the idea. It's got this kind of matte type effect. It's not gloss and it matches the van. I've also done the same on uh, the back panel here because my feet were on this side. You can't really see it. Maybe we can turn the light on. See a bit more? No, you can't. But my feet were touching here and it was starting to bobble. It was looking a mess. Now it just looks really clean, really sharp, especially with that cream on there. So I'm really happy with that. I think I've uh, found a solution for it. On the back doors, it's going to have the same, but temporarily, just because I was fed up of looking at silver foil for the last, I don't know, eight months that I've had the van, I've used what was left, what I've managed to salvage from the walls uh, and put it on the back door. So you can see it's not perfect. It looks a bit of a mess but at least I'm not looking at two silver things now. So that's all good. Uh, I need to do the same on this door as well. So what we're gonna do next, I think, is we'll get some more black leather. We will board out this door, board out the back two doors, and we'll cover those in leather as well. Fake leather. So that's all good. So I like the idea that it's black. What I also tried to do, and I thought I was being really clever, I thought I'd finally found a solution, and that was getting some laminate sheets. So, uh, one of my friends said, look, try this stuff, it's really good, it works really well. However, it looks great, because if you look, it looks the same colour, same sort of style, same sort of pattern, but the only problem is, it's really brittle. Really, really brittle. It's very hard to cut, so if you look at that edge, it's absolutely shocking. I don't know if I can get it on camera, but anyway, if you can't see, you have to just take my word for it. It is absolutely a shocking job. On top of that, I caught my foot on it as well, and it all cracked and came off. I've just wedged it back on because there's a bit of glue underneath it. But that all came off. It broke here as well. So I haven't got the right tools for it. I don't have the patience and skills for it. I think, honestly, I need to come up with another solution. And I have come up with another solution. So the lever that I've bought, I think accidentally I bought the wrong one. So I think I've got leather that's coming like this, but we'll put it on, we'll see what it looks like. I did see a van that was covered in leather. It wasn't a distressed look, it was the normal kind of, um, it was all just flat basically, not totally flat. Like, it's like little tiny bobbles in it everywhere. I, I suppose not too not too dissimilar to, to the finish that's on this as well, really. I may have bought the wrong one. If so, I'll see if I can send it back. If not, I'll just buy the other one and I'll just I don't know, find somewhere to use the other one that's out of the view, maybe in the, in the back somewhere where where it's not on show as much. But yeah, we've got some grey coming and we've also got some honey coming as well. I think the honey I'm gonna put on this panel here, just so it's a little bit, it just breaks it up a little bit. It's just not gonna be black and grey. Everywhere's black and grey. Plus the surface of this is kind of like a honey colour as well. This is wood. Let's get a bit of leather on there. It looked quite nice. And I might even put it on that side. I'm not sure yet. And we'll have to see. Or I might, I might put that black as well. Or just keep it as it is. I'm not sure yet. But this again, this was just this is just wallpaper from uh, from B&Q. It's just paper uh, that's just stuck on. Occasionally it works its way loose when it gets warm and then it sticks itself back down again. But yeah, that's where we're up to. I need to put a bloody cupboard on here as well. I think one of the reasons I've not done it yet is I'm going to bring it out flush and I think I'm going to drop it down just only ever so slightly, probably just an inch or two down, just to make it that little bit bigger. I've not banged my head on it yet because I would really have to lean over, but I think maybe, maybe I'm asking for trouble here when I'm washing up then I might actually start smashing my head off that. Yeah, that's where we're up to. I don't think there's anything to talk about else outside. I think we've gone through everything. Oh, there, there is, yeah. Last night I fitted a new, what do we call it, exhaust. So that's on there. It's, uh, it's zip tied on. I know what you're thinking, what the hell, but the last one was zip tied on. It's absolutely fine. It's solid. They don't melt because of where they're positioned. And we've got a stainless steel exhaust on there now, apparently. Apparently it's stainless steel. Um, apparently the last one was stainless steel, but it fell to pieces. Ah. Okay, so there is something else, which is not really a van mod. One of my subscribers said to me, because I was, I think it was, right, so I was traveling around Austria and Switzerland. In order to empty the chemical toilet, we had to go to, yeah. So when we were traveling around Europe, I had to, uh, it got to the point where I needed to empty the chemical toilet. It wasn't full, because we'd upgraded the toilet. We've now got 20 liter instead of 10 liter. And it got to the point where I needed to change the toilet purely because the smell was unbearable. Right, so I think we were into about, we were probably into about day eight or day nine or something like that. And it was like, we really need to change this toilet, it's getting bad. One of the subscribers messaged me and said, you need to get this because honestly, it's a game changer. First of all, it's green. There's no chemicals in it, it's totally natural. So it's got things like peppermint and stuff like that in it. 
um, and it breaks down the waste and it stops the toilet from smelling. Now, as well as the toilet, I've also got a pee bottle um, and I have a five litre pee bottle because the amount of liquid that I drink in two days, that's probably pretty much full anyway. So there's no point having a one litre bottle because it's just be a nightmare. You'd be carrying bottles of wee everywhere and dropping them in uh, in bins everywhere, which is not great. So anyway, cut a long story short, she told me to get this. So what I've done is I've taken her advice, so thank you very much, and I've bought this. So I don't know how you say, it. is it Sol, Sol Bio? I think it's Sol Bio, isn't it? Oh my God, what a game changer. Look at that, 40 doses, 40 do I can't remember how much it was. I'll put a link in the description to it. I'm not plugging this in like, I'm not, obviously I'm not like sponsored or endorsing it, but that is a game changer. Honestly, if this was someone stood by the door and it wasn't YouTube and going out to everybody, I would get my pee bottle and smell it in front of you. Doesn't smell of urine. It stops the smell entirely. It just smells purely like peppermint. Incredible stuff, 100%. If you have a chemical toilet, buy that. It is a game changer. I swear to God, it is a total game changer. I've not changed the toilet since Friday. It's now Tuesday. And if I... What does he want? What's occurring? Well, I don't know. You're actually on uh, you're you're on YouTube at the moment because I'm in the middle of doing a van build update. I'm. Let me just stop my camera. Right. Well, Alex has gone now. Quick chat with him. That was good. Good to catch up. Where was we up to? I can't even remember now. I can't even remember. Uh, oh, we was talking about the toilet chemical cleaner, wasn't we? That's what we was talking about. Yeah. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. Couple of other things to talk about. Orcsbeam have sent me their new dual switch panels. I'm going to have a panel in the front so I can control my light bar and my bonnet lights, also by Auxbeam, both of them. Um, so that can get controlled by that. I'm going to be having lights on the both sides and the rear to go with the cameras. It's probably going to get mounted somewhere, not here, but somewhere next to that. And what will happen is if somebody decides that they're going to come and try and get into the van or have a nose at the van. This will be sitting next to it. Basically, I will just press a button and the light will come on. So it'll go from night vision into daylight. The camera will come on. I'll be able to say clear as anything and it will give them the fright of their life. So they will probably run off. That's just one of the purposes. That's not the main purpose, obviously. So yeah, I'm going to put all sorts of different things on it. I'm probably going to get some lights for underneath the van because why not? Uh, I'm going to put the Max Air fan onto it as well so I can turn that on whether I'm sat in the front or sat in the back. So I don't need to use the remote. The remote is here. It never gets used, it just sits there. Most of the time I'm stood here, so I just lean up, press the button, jobs are good. Enough. So that's about it. You probably saw the uh, IKEA spice rack in the back. I was looking for something to go, because I've got this little pot thing here that I just chuck stuff in. So I thought, do you know what? IKEA spice rack, go in there. At least I can put some stuff in. Uh, I need to cut it down, obviously, because it is, um, it is too big to go on there. So I might actually cut it in half, get another piece in the middle, and uh, yeah, we'll have two little shelves one next to each other. Um, I've also got two more. I've got a couple more down here as well. So we can use those. Also very exciting, very exciting. We've got rid of the bin that was down there and we've now got a bin on the door. So that's from Ikea as well, which is full and these empty. And we're gonna move this uh, water heater into the back out of the way. Just need to find a space for it. I did think that maybe I might be able to get it here I think there's probably enough space to get it next to the diesel heater. Even if I have to lift it up and put it on a bit of wood, uh, I can get it next to the diesel heater. Plenty of room down there and it tidies that area up, utilizes the space and makes this cupboard free. So I can probably put either a waste tank in there or maybe, probably, this waste tank is actually going to end up underneath the van. Not that one, a different tank, a bigger tank. Um, <clears throat> so it'll be done properly. So that clears up uh, that space. And then I'm left with a cupboard here. I've now got a toolbox in here, which I find really useful because most of the time I need my tools. I have to get out of the van and go in the back and get it. So that's there. I can sort out this shelf because that's just a temporary thing. It's not even fixed in place. We'll sort all that out as well. Get some better storage in place. Finish that, as we've said. That's kind of where we're up to. So um, I don't know what else there is to talk about. I think that's it. I think we'll just leave it at that for now. Maker's bed. I don't know what we spoke about last time on the last video when I did an update. I think we spoke about that because that's been in place for a while. Yeah, nothing's changed down there. It's got some little fairy lights underneath as well. We're just going to uh, board it out properly front and rear. Oh God, I nearly fell out the van. And then cover the walls in something so it's nice for uh... Oh, okay, fair enough. We've been at uh, campsite this weekend. That's why the flagpole's in here. Oh yes, when we're talking about other things that need to be done. These need to go, because obviously these are in the way. Bit of a temporary job like most things are in my van. 
Wow, I've squashed that spider three times and it's still alive. Hardcore spider. Yeah, these need to go. I'm going to get a proper water tank. Um, this is going to board across there entirely. So we've got that all the way across now. Um, and we'll sort out the diesel. We'll probably put it into the main tank. So that is where we're up to at the moment. Red hot. It's tasty. So that's where we're up to. Gonna leave it at that for now. Let me know what you think. And like I said, if anyone knows there's a solution for those hinges, please let me know. Also, if anybody knows any solutions for the cupboard covers, cupboard covers, cupboard, what's it called? Cupboard, um, these things, other than using the leather material, then please let me know. Simple solution, please let me know. I'm gonna be painting the van this weekend. Again, right, see you the next one.